Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another haul video. My name is Justin. This is Movie Watch. On this channel, we do movie reviews, movie recommendations, Blu-ray hauls, top 10 lists, ranking videos, all kinds of amazing stuff. We have a massive, massive haul today. We have Blu-ray, figures, horror clothes, all kinds of really, really awesome stuff. It's actually a very special video because I'm gonna be doing another giveaway. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving away this copy of Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers on VHS from Retro Release Video. This thing is incredible, it's badass. The guys over at Retro Release Video are amazing. They do super cool work. I goofed and accidentally ordered two copies, so I have a fresh copy to go to one of you guys. Definitely check out Retro Release Video. I found them on Instagram. I'll link their Instagram below. They're amazing. Somewhere throughout the video, I'm going to be giving you a password. You're gonna type that password into the comments below, and that is how you will be entered to win. That's all you gotta do, watch the whole video Video. somewhere throughout the video I will be placing a password on the screen you're gonna type that into the comments below and you will be entered to win uh, good luck to everybody this movie is quite a ride so I'm look forward to uh, giving this to one of you guys so let's start off with the haul we're gonna start off with the clothes I got a bunch of really cool stuff including this zombie hat and this return of the living dead trucker hat these things are badass they're only 20 bucks i got these from paul bearer press uh check those guys out on instagram or go to their website they do amazing amazing work with t-shirts and hats and all kinds of metal and horror apparel super super nice guys great company great prices good quality good guys over there at paul bearer press another highlight from this month is my terminator 2 art mask i just picked this up from pure art studio i ordered it from sideshow collectibles i did a whole video on it i go into super depth of this amazing piece right here this thing is absolutely incredible from terminator 2 the battle damage t800 i just could not be more uh, happy with this it's probably <coughs> <laughs> my favorite piece in my collection so go check out that video I'll link that down below as well a couple I got all kinds of stuff up here I got a couple pops I'm not a big pop guy I don't get a lot of God, I need a new table I don't get a lot of pops but when I see cool ones I'll pick one up so I got the uh, pinhead pop and I got the Audrey 2 from uh, Little Shop of Horrors these things are so so cool this one actually is really really well done these things are just really really cool so like i said i don't have a lot of pops i have a couple cool ones when i see cool horror or movie related pops i'll snag them up uh, keeping with the figures and collectibles i have this oh shit thing keeps coming off from tim clark himself i got this custom boglin this shrunken head boglin it's absolutely uh incredible i love this little dude how cool is that? This was made in Tim Clark's home studio. He's the guy who invented Boglins and designed Boglins. He also worked with Jim Henson. This thing, I also did a full video on this Boglin. If you wanna know more about that and how to, how to pick one of those up for yourself, I got a whole video. I'll link that below as well. Next up, Gizmo. I picked up Gizmo from Trick or Treat Studios. This thing is really, really cool. I was on a little bit of a gremlins kick. I'll post those videos as well, I guess. I got a splasher gremlin, a evil gremlin, and this badass little Gizmo. Super, super cool little dude. Um, I'll set him right here. I don't know if he's going to stand up or not. You going to stand up? You going to stand up and hang out? Maybe? It might fall. We'll see how that goes. Next up, I got the NECA ultimate evil gremlin another badass little NECA figure I take my NECA's out of the box I still have some in the box but when I have more place to places to display these I will be getting all these out of the boxes so they can hang out and display um, this one looks really really cool the paint job and sculpt on this is absolutely incredible his mouth moves up and down he's got a really cool chainsaw I fucking dropped it a while back imagine that me fucking up a toy and the chainsaw broke i need to get that little piece back on there but the ultimates are absolutely badass that they're putting out from gremlins and they actually just announced a few more gremlins related items um, which is really really cool too so uh, gremlins are just on fire right now next up i got the creep oh shit the Creep from Creep Show. I went ahead and picked this up from Big Bad Toy Store. I saw it. The the uh, the sculpt and the paint job on this thing is just 
absolutely badass. I love Creep Show. I like Creep Show 2 maybe slightly more than Creep Show 1. I've never seen the third one. I've heard mixed on the third movie, but I absolutely love the second one. Uh, and particularly the blob sequence. I think that's a pretty popular one for everybody. But uh, this thing looks absolutely incredible. I love this guy. I can't wait to get him out of the box and display him. The creep. Okay, now we're down to, we'll get the apparel down. So actually I went to Walmart today and uh, picked up this Halloween shirt, which was only like seven bucks, which was dope. And I happened to come across these, uh, this little pack of socks. They have uh, six pairs of socks in here. Uh, super, super cool. Uh, Big Lebowski, Dazed and Confused, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, E.T., Jaws, and Back to the Future. Oh yeah, the Back to the Future is like this neon DeLorean. It's kind of hard to tell what it was, but super, super cool, universal six-pack socks. They're really, really dope. So uh, if you have a local Walmart close to you, I mean, who doesn't? Check these out. These were only running eight bucks, so I had to pick them up. Couldn't pass them up. Uh, next, we're going to go to the Cavity Colors, which I got some really, really badass stuff. I posted a little thing on Instagram about that. Be sure and follow me on Instagram for all my updates. Um, Cavity Colors. These are the sweatpants. The Return of the Living Dead. More brains. Got Tar Man right there on one leg. And you have Return of the Living Dead on the other leg. These things are super comfortable, super soft. Um, they have a bunch of cool designs. Head over to Cavity Colors uh, for sweatpants. And then I got two more Cavity Colors shirts. Actually, one was from another company. I got uh, also from Cavity Colors, I got Return of the Living Dead 3. Uh, one of my all-time favorite movies. Super, super badass design. And then I got this one. This one might have been from... I'll put it on the screen so I can... Don't... Uh, tell the wrong company, but another Return of the Living Dead shirt. This was like a variant. I, I want to say this is Graveyard Goods. I'm almost positive this was Graveyard Goods, but uh, they had a couple different variants of this with some different colorways. It's got the Tar Man down the sleeve, which is super badass, and it's got uh, Return of the Living Dead. It's got the gravestone, and then on the back, we have, oh shit. Uh, July 3rd, 1984, 5.30 p.m. It's got the uh, kind of the opening shot um, of the dudes, of our punks, pretty badass. Super stoked on that stuff. Then we'll get to the media portion and we'll go ahead and do all these at once because um, I did do a video on these as well. This is my retro release video haul. Again, they put out some badass stuff. I have Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. I have a VHS copy of Thanks Killing. And I have uh, Castle Freak, which is the big box. The cassette tape is in there. Super, super dope. And then Psychos in Love. Really, really badass big box VHS. And I go into way more detail in those in the standalone video that I did for those. Next up, we'll move to the Blu-ray section. And we'll kick this off actually with a cassette tape before I get into the Blu-rays. This is the audiobook of Color Out of Space read by Richard Stanley, uh, the director of Color Out of Space with Nick Cage. Uh, super, super cool piece. It was so cool, I couldn't pass it up. Admittedly, I do not have a cassette tape currently, so I could not play this, but it does come with a audio uh, version of it, um, or a digital version of it, so uh, I'll be able to check that out. But really cool colored cassette. It's a purple cassette. So you get the uh, HP Lovecraft story read by Richard Stanley, which is a really, really cool deal. Super, super badass. I love that movie. Um, I look forward to eventually leading that. I actually forgot I had the digital copy of that. Next up, Southland Tales from Richard Kelly. I went ahead and saw this at uh, Best Buy. Thought I'd pick it up. It's been a really long time since I've... Shit, this fucking table. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Can't wait to uh, revisit that one. Uh, also from Arrow Video is the Demons 4K. This thing is badass. It has the really cool um, kind of multiple piece deal comes with the shit <laughs> comes with the uh, invitation there it has the of course the blu-rays and then it came with a really cool hardbound uh, book which is just super badass really really cool edition of demons from arrow video super super badass i'll set all that shit there for now uh, an early frank darabont picture which uh another one i have not seen i have not had a chance to watch this movie i have so many things on my watch list um, i cannot wait to check this one out i've heard really good things next up another blind buy i just picked this up at walmart when i was getting my uh 
uh, socks and shirt there, uh, Random Acts of Violence. Now this was written and directed by Jay Baruchel. He's been in a bunch of the Apatow comedies and stuff. I actually listened to him on the Movie Crypt podcast, Adam Green's podcast. The dude has a really uh, a real passion for horror. The passion he had for this movie and the story, it just sounded badass. Jesse Williams, Jordana Brewster, and Jay Baruchel star in Random Acts of Violence. Really looking forward to checking this one out. Next, a couple of the Mill Creek VHS style Blu-ray. I got these are a couple super random titles uh, stop or my mom will shoot with uh, Sylvester Stallone and Gorillas in the mist with Sigourney Weaver I have not seen either of these movies since the 90s uh, but they're so cheap and they cut the I love the slip covers and I have almost all the other releases so it's like ah why not they're like seven or eight bucks so a couple more left let's go ahead and do the password guys the password is Psycho. The password is Psycho. To enter to win the Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers VHS, the password is Psycho. Back to the video. Next up, a really random thing, but I have, <laughs> if you guys have been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know I just have a, just a real massive soft spot for nostalgia and just things of the past. I love it. I love relics of the 80s and 90s. Barbara Crampton on the cover of TV Guide in 1990. Now she posted about this on her Instagram and I just, it was so random. I thought, huh, that's kind of cool because I had recently bought um, another vintage TV guide. This is how I used to find everything I, I would watch and record on the VCR back in the 90s. I would, this thing was like my, my holy Bible was the TV guide to find all the things to set the timer on my VHS um, to record everything. But anyway, I just typed in uh, Barbara Crampton TV guide on eBay and I picked this up for like eight bucks. Super random, but you got the gorgeous, gorgeous Barbara Crampton on the cover of this one when she was on the uh, Young and the Restless. She did a bunch of soap operas in the 80s and 90s. Uh, next up, I got two more Blu-rays. I went ahead and picked up the 4K edition of Top Gun. Pretty good price. Uh, I found this at Best Buy a couple, three weeks ago. And then finally, Witch Trap. Witch Trap. I had not seen this in so long, but this was one I definitely wanted to pick up. The slip cover is badass. Once these slip covers sell out from Vinegar Syndrome, it's just such a pain in the ass. If you really want one, you have to shell out some money, and I just don't want to do that anymore. I hate paying more than I should for Blu-rays. I'm just not going to do it. So um, if I want to get it, I'm just going to grab it. Even if you blind buy one of these with the slip covers, I'm not a, I'm not a reseller by any means, but you can definitely make your money back. If you have the slip cover version of the movie, you buy it, you don't dig it, you can just you know usually sell even the slip cover for 15 or 20 bucks, resell the whole movie with the slip cover for 50 or 60 bucks. But you can definitely make your money back. That's why I don't I don't mind too much doing blind buys with slip cover editions of, from Scream Factory or Severin or Vinegar Syndrome because you can always make your money back on the secondary market. So that's it guys. Um, I need to start doing these hauls more often so there's not so much shit in all these. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys snagged that password. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, drop a comment, say hello. Say what's up, we're getting really close to a thousand subscribers on here, guys. I was hoping to uh, get to at least a thousand subscribers in within a year, and it looks like I'm gonna beat that. I'm super stoked, thanks to you guys. So uh, like this video, subscribe, throw a comment below. It really helps the algorithm and it helps YouTube push the videos out. Uh, so let's get to a thousand subs in a year. It's been about eight months, so um, I'm having a blast doing this. I look forward to meeting and talking to more of you. Hit me up on Instagram. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Stay weird, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them, and I love making them.